So I've been playing Gotham Knights, right? And my main character is Red Robin. Like, he's awesome. And his combinations are just great. And so I took those combinations and put them into my own staff combo inspired by Tim Drake himself. Baby. Perfect. I'm on that Bruce Lee flow like water, state of mind. Got me going farther than I ever thought I could have been. Gotta grab a sheet of paper as you know I got the pin. Anybody want to smoke your whole career be looking grim. I hit flashing chains while your boy been in the gym. Watch me spitting flames while the frogs try to break the tent. I don't play around, only need around till you see the ground. I see the crown and I'ma let the sound pull them in. The pen's been dripping, rhymes been written, eyes been open, minds been made up. Gotta get the paper, the green's got me looking. What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing aviators in the superhero hat and welcome to the modern ninja. And on this mini series here on the channel, we're breaking down a gigantic Robin inspired combination so that at the end of the month, you'll be able to do this combination uh, if you practice, but that is, you know, a big if, because this is not designed for beginners. There's lots of spins and lots of crazy stuff that will confuse you if you are not a beginner. So if you are a beginner and watching this one, um, how have you gotten to the fourth episode of this series and not realize this? And two, definitely check out the links down below because starting next month, starting in December, I'm gonna be launching the free beta for my beginner's staff course, taking someone from never touching a bow staff in their life before to being able to do something just like this. And so if that interests you and you wanna be possibly selected for the free beta, sign up with the link down below. But let's get going with the final segment, putting together our entire combination. With this last segment, it picks up just after uh, our you know, last segment in the same position. So you just did your body roll up, catch, you grab, you turn, and you strike. Now, from here, it just switches your stance from your right knee bent to your left knee bent, and your staff comes around and down. This makes your solid point where you jump off and do your kick. Now, here's the thing. If you have a toothpick staff, that's great. I have a ton of them. They're great for what they do, but you don't want to put weight on them. So you're going to simulate that weight by having your jump side kick just be in the air. Now, if you have a super thick staff or a metal staff, then you won't have to worry about this and can use your staff for assistance. But again, if you use your staff to bear your weight and your staff is not made for that, it will break. Don't say I didn't warn you. So again, once we stab the ground, your right leg is going to pick up and do a flying side kick. You can do this without your staff. If you were to do this without your staff, it would be right leg comes up, you jump and you side kick in that order. And then your bottom leg just comes up and kicks your butt. When you do it all together, it is simply that is your flying sidekick again i'm not spending a ton of time on it if you want me to do a video breaking down that one kick or how to do a sidekick i can but that's not what this video is for this video is to get the entire combination and of course if you've never touched a staff before and kind of want the basics i will be releasing a course very soon and i'm actually running about to run the beta right now so if you're interested in doing the beta for our course then link down in the description for the free beta to sign up however when you have your staff in your hand and you're doing this whole thing stabbing the ground again if it's not a load bearing staff do not put weight on your staff you're just going to jump up and do your sidekick Bang. once you land with your sidekick you're actually going to continue the turn turning towards your left shoulder into a downward strike finishing with a step back and a pulling your staff back to ready stance into your fight position with your offensive grip. No, this is not sponsored, but if you guys want me to do some of the other characters from Gotham Knights or a different character entirely, like maybe Zoro's three sword style where I have a sword in my mouth, two swords in my hands and do a combination like that and teach you guys that way, let me know down in the comments below. And of course, when you put all these combinations together, you will get the full combo, just like you're seeing on screen right now. And like I said, this was just inspired by the character Red Robin, specifically from the game Gotham Knights. And if you want me to do another combination inspired by some other character from either video games, movies, TV shows, 
you let me know because I like doing what you guys ask. So make sure to smash the like button on all the different parts of this little four part episode mini series. And without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one because my name's DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja and I'm out.